Hey guys, uh, today I wanted to show you how to program the memory select on the Touch OSC app on the iPad. Uh, if you watch the other three videos, I showed you how to uh, program MIDI and how to design the uh, the Touch OSC app in any way you want to. This thing is just fantastic for four dollars and ninety nine cents. You can't can't beat it. And this way, I can uh, stand at my mic stand and be able to adjust all this stuff. So um, what I want to do is the memory select, which I've got this big long slider down here. And uh, uh, what I found is that the reason this is so long is because if you program all 99 memories in here, this thing's really sensitive to movement as you move this. So for this demonstration, I just only put, uh, I think there's 20 of them on this slider, and you can change this anytime you want. If you only got 20 songs, maybe you program it for 25 to add five more in there later on, or, um, you know, it takes literally um, probably five minutes to go back to the to the computer and, and just program a different parameter, change it from 20 to 30 to 40. Uh, and I'm going to give you a demonstration on how to do all of that. So just to show you how this works, now I put some reference numbers in here, track 2, 3, 4, 5, 10, I just threw a few of them in there. And you might have to move them around so that the slider, when you move it, is exactly on 2, and you know, program 3 is exactly on 3. But as you can see, I'm going to slide this, and you can, you can see those changing over there. So here you go, all the way up. And I'm up to, let's see what I got, 21 memories in there right now. Uh, I stop at 10, I'm on 10. Uh, we go down to five, we're on five. So let's move over to the, uh, to the iMac and uh, I'll show you how to create this. We're back at the uh, iMac and what you're gonna do is you're gonna open up the Touch OSC editor and we'll expand that and here I have my this is the layout I have on my iPad right now and I'm going to show you how to do this memory select down here how to set this up so we're going to go ahead and go to new and iPad and I'm going to change this to horizontal and then we're going to right click and let's make a fader uh, we'll make a couple of them here Let's take this one and put it over here, and let's make her about that, like so. So we'll make that one, we'll leave that red, and let's make another one, but this time we're going to go this way with it, and let's make this a long one. And what we're going to do is these long ones, we're going to go ahead and put 99 memories in here. And these shorter ones will do something different. So let's make this a different color. Make that green. And we'll add one more thing here. Let's add us a rotary right here. And of course you can make that any size you want. And let's also make that a different color. And we'll go with pink. All right. So. Again, you can make this any size you want. Uh, you can put any labels in it. Yeah. So well, let's start down here at the bottom. And yeah, we're going to go to value. We're check that box. And we're going to go to program change. And in this box right here, this is where we're going to set our memories. So we're going to use, I find it's better if you use these arrows instead of putting in the numbers for whatever reason is program likes this better. So I'm going to dial memories from 0 to 99 on this one. And what I do is I click out, click back on that, make sure that stays 0 to 99, and I'm going to go up here and, and push save. So we're going to name this one uh, test1, one, and we'll save it. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go up to this slider here. And we'll check the box next to value, program change. And let's make this one, um, let's only make this one to 25. Let's say you only got, you know, 20 songs in your boss and, and uh, 
maybe leave five more in there in case you want to add some. And again, you can, this is so simple. You can, you can just come back and, and change this value anytime. Uh, we'll hit save. And then on this rotary here, we're going to do the same thing, value. We're going to go program change. And let's make this one, uh, uh, let's say we got 35 in here. So let's take it down to 35. Where are we at here? All right, 35 click out click back in I got 35 I'm going to save it all right now we can label these uh, you can put uh, little reference marks in them uh, let's do a couple reference marks we'll do uh, label and we're going to turn off the background again so we don't want that showing and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use an L small L as a dash mark and I'm going to take this up to about 30 and here we have our mark so I'm going to open this up all right so we could use this as a reference mark we could put that you know let's say that's uh, 50 now of course we're going to have to go try this and make sure it's in the correct spot or uh, you know we can move it uh, as I did I did numbers so the same thing you could do with numbers and I'll show you how to do that we're going to right right click maybe There we go. And we're going to do a label. And I'm going to turn off the background. We're going to make this number one. And let's take this up to, you know, do 30. So here, and so you don't have to keep doing this over and over again. I'm going to show you. We'll just take this and we're going to move it. And let's say that's number one there. So. To keep going with this instead of you know right clicking you can just go here go copy and then paste and when it pastes it's right over the one you just did so we're gonna go ahead and do that and we'll change that to two right and click off so now it's a two and we're gonna do paste again and we're gonna drag this over here and we'll make it number three and as you see, we can just keep going and go and paste. Number four. Change this to number four. Now, I made this one 1 to 99, so these are not going to be in the correct place. If you maybe had 20 in here, they may be in the right place. But you get the general idea how you, how you, how you could do this. So we could do... Uh, Okay, this is, uh, let's do this one. We'll do the I again, and let's, oops, I'm sorry, the L. Get rid of the background. We'll take that up to 30. 30 looks good. Let's change that to green. All right, and I'm gonna open this up. And maybe you want that for your center marker, so you know that I think we did 20 in here, maybe. That might be 10. Anyways, you kind of get the idea. So we're going to save again. And then what we're going to do is we're going to sync to our iPad. So again, the Mac and the iPad have to be on the same network. I'm going to hit the sync button. And this little screen is going to pop up. All right. And then now I'm going to switch to the iPad and show you how to do get that going on the iPad. All right. We're back on our iPad. And what we're going to do is we are going to go up in this right-hand corner, hit the little button, and we're going to go over to Layout. And we're going to go to the top where it says Add. And then your computer's going to come up under the host. So go ahead and click on that. And then this is telling me I'm going to override an existing content. And what I'm going to do now is I named it Test 1, so I'm going to go down here and I'm going to find Test 1 is right here I'm going to select that then I hit done and there we are there's the template that we just designed so let's go back to the boss RC 600 and uh, see how it works okay guys here we are with our newly created uh, touch OSC uh, memory select with a couple faders and uh, rotary to show you how this works 
a uh, couple things first we got plugged into our lightning adapter we have a us standard usb that goes to the uh plugged into the back of the boss and i also have a this is a charging cable just in case you want to know uh what we're going to do is first thing is we're going to come over here to the boss and we're going to hit menu and we're going to page over and we're going to go to midi and then page over to the right and we want to make sure this pc um pc out is on and then we're going to page over one more time and we want to make sure that through usb in is selected to midi out okay and once you get that done uh it may already be set up that way i can't remember but uh make sure that you save it if you do change it so here we are we're back at uh at the boss and let's see here we're going to take uh, this slider down here we made zero to 99 so uh, let's let's see how that works so we're going to go all the way over and we're over to 99 so as you can see i have to have this really long slider because this is really sensitive you can see how fast it moves all right notice the others the other uh, faders and controls move too because they're all on the same channel so this slider uh we only programmed i don't remember how many but we have 25 26 in there so you can see that it's this is not it's a lot easier to just move a little bit at a time and you get the channel that you want so the fewer memories that you put in there the more control you're going to have over the slider now the rotary here we put uh we did 35 i believe so you can take that and as you can see you can spin the rotary so it's really your preference uh whether you want a rotary or a fader or how you want to assign it but uh basically that's the sky's the limit so I suggest that you, you know, if you only, you're only using uh, 20 memories, maybe put uh, 25 in there. And uh, that way you'll have better control over the fader or the rotary. And what you can do is, that, you know, if you outgrow that, uh, you know, you had five blanks and you need more, you just go back into the program. It takes five minutes to go back and, and change that. Uh, that value that you saw in there that we went from 0 to 99 or 0 to 35 change it to whatever you want and uh, That should do it. So hopefully this helps you uh, You know again, you can't beat this for 499 and be able to crawl all the, uh, control all this stuff from While you're standing up. All right, you guys have a good day. Uh, you got any questions or comments? Uh, please uh, send them to me and if you guys do uh, make some of these templates uh, please, you know, uh, send me a, a snapshot. Let me see how you how you set it up. Again, to do that, we're going to go to layout. We're going to I got boss in here, done, and there's my layout. So you could have multiple layouts. You could do whatever you want here. It's so easy to work with. So have a great day.